Hello and welcome to this 49ers franchise. I'm P Jiggy. What's up, y'all? Are y'all ready for some football? Damn. This is pretty much like week one for you guys. Like all the jitters and stuff. But I mean, to me and the team, it's already week five. Alright. Well, no, week six. What am I talking about? The undefeated 49ers sitting at 5 and 0 going up against their division rivals Los Angeles Rams who are 3 and 2 third in the division behind the Seahawks as well should be a good game maybe probably not i don't know <laughs> the big storyline for this game is that with Tevin Coleman and Raheem Mostert out Sheriff McKinnon and Brandon Ayuk will be playing at running back for today's game, according to Kyle Shanahan. And sorry, this is going to be um, quiet for the first part, for parts of this video, because I forgot to turn off the commentators. But let's get into this game. Let's get into this game. Kickoff is off. Stopped it around the 26. And out steps Jared Goff, who has actually been having... A pretty damn good season for his standards. 11 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, 1st and 10. Goff steps back, almost sacked by DJ Jones, but he gets the screen out to his man Henderson. 2nd down, play action, good chip block, but broken up by Richard Sherman. At the 50, that was intended for Robert Woods. And here we see the inactives for the 49ers. Mike McGlinchey, I forgot to mention, he's also out for this game. He got injured last week. Third down. Henderson has first down yardage. Cuts to the outside for some reason. But he still gets first down yardage. So I guess it didn't really backfire on him. First down. Hand off to Henderson. Taken down by Quan Alexander. Now we jump to third down. Goff stepping back. Armstead in pursuit. Broken up by Quan Alexander, trying to check it down to his man Henderson out of the backfield. Now the 49ers take over. Toss to the outside. No room for Jerick McKinnon. Maybe gained one. Then we jump to third down, third and short. Garoppolo rocketing it to Trent Taylor who drops the ball. And what should have been an easy third down conversion. Picking him back up with the Rams. He gets it to his man, Robert Woods, over the middle. Fred Warner makes a stop. Let's see if this Rams offense could put points on the f points on the board. Third and long. Goff steps back. Checks it down to his man, Henderson. Stiff arms, Jakuski Tart. But he's quickly hauled down by Sherman and Kwan Williams. 49ers get the ball back, hand off to McKinnon, fights ahead for about 6 yards. On 2nd down, Garoppolo fires to his man, his star tight end, George Kittle, first completion of the day. And on 1st down after that, hand off to Jerk McKinnon right up the middle for about 7 or 8 yards. And on 3rd down, after an incompletion, Ayuk gets the ball. Gets first down yardage. That's what you like to see. First carry. As a running back, he has the skills to perhaps fill in sometimes at that position. And the file got corrupted here. That was a play action pass to George Kittle, and he ended up getting a PI call. A couple plays after the penalty. Third down. Garoppolo fires to George Kittle, but it's broken up by the linebacker. Rams take over. Hand off to Henderson. He's stuffed by Quan Alexander. Good play. Shit in his block. Third down. Goff. Fires to his man out of the slot. And I can't really tell if that's a drop or a pass defense by Fred Warner. But the 49ers take over either way. Check down to McKinnon. Tries to juke. Gets about seven on first down. Pick up on second down. Garoppolo again gonna pass nice blitz pickup by McKinnon and he rifles that one in there to Trent Taylor That was a pretty tight window 
49ers marching handoff to McKinnon straight up the gut he gets about 12 this could be the drive can the 49ers put up points set the tone for the rest of the game handoff again to McKinnon and there's Aaron Donald in the backfield disrupting the play I have a feeling that's not going to be the last time we mention his name today second down Garoppolo airing it out out of the back of the end zone Aaron Donald right there with the pressure and again firing it towards George Kittle who almost comes down with it but in the sea of people he loses control of the ball and the 49ers do get three points on the board not a touchdown but that'll end the quarter they end the quarter with the lead low scoring game zero to three is this going to be a more defensive game? Goff takes over at after the half. It's second down. Up the gut, it's Malcolm Brown. Getting way past the first down, getting to the logo. First down right after that. Goff. Play action. And he's taken down by Dre Greenlaw. And DJ Jones falls on it. Strip sack by Drain Greenlaw on the blitz. Let's see this again. As you can see, when he's taking him down, he kind of just punches it out. Look at Goff writhing in pain. <laughs> Second down for the 49ers. Garoppolo checks it down to Kyle Yushik, who gets more yards towards the sideline. He ain't just a fullback. He's so much more to this team. Handing it off to Brandon Ayuk. Gets a nice little gain up the middle for five yards. Now third and goal. Garoppolo steps back. Fires wide open to George Kittle. They tried to defend him one-on-one -on -one in man coverage in the red zone. Clearly um, not the best play call for that defensive coordinator. <laughs> And you see George Kittle with the celebration after. Rams get the ball, looking to respond. Goff on second down. Rifles it in there to Robert Woods with Richard Sherman in coverage. Again on second down. Quick pass to Cooper Cup, showing his route running ability. That was a tight window. Now let's see if they could capitalize on third down. And he will be stood up and dragged down by Richard Sherman. This offense can't really get anything going. Can't get anything down the field going. They're dinking and dunking and their runs ain't getting anywhere. 49ers take over Jarek McKinnon racing down the sideline. Past the 50 to the 40 to the 30. And tiptoeing on the sideline. He's finally dragged out at their 25 yard line. That's exactly what the 49ers needed. Let's blow this game wide open. First down. Hand off to Ayuk. Stumbling forward. Almost gaining the first down. And we're in the red zone now. Garoppolo on second down. Second and short. Nice pass down there to use check. He's more than a fullback, man. And Garoppolo on the RPO. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. And this will be third down. Garoppolo. Sitting in the pocket, and Aaron Donald gets to him. Tiptoeing as the Rams tiptoe around a potential touchdown scoring drive. Now let's see, they have to respond here. Quick pass out there to his man in the slot. I don't even know the man's names. Maybe if he would make a few plays, I'd know his name. Jared Goff on second down. Trying to lead his team down the field. Out to Cooper Cup on the out route. Quickly dragged down by Akilo Witherspoon. First down. Jared Goff. Delayed give to Malcolm Brown. And Javon Kinlaw is there to make the stop. On second down right after that. Hand off to Malcolm Brown again. And Javon Kinlaw again is there for the stop for minimal gain. Third down, big possession here, two-minute warning. And Javon Kinlaw is in for the sack. He single-handedly stops that whole drive. 
We are witnessing the emergence of a young superstar, Garoppolo, trying to rifle it into his man, George Kittle. He can't quite hang on. Ayuk checks in on second down. Nice screen pass. I mean, he got drafted as a receiver. So you know he has those skills. On third down, Kendrick Bourne rises up, gets yards after the catch. What a route run by Kendrick Bourne, and what a catch by him. First down after the huge completion, check down to George Kittle, gets on the sidelines, and the 49ers are nearing field goal range, looking to go up by three scores. At the end of the half, Garoppolo taking a shot to George Kittle, he comes down with it, and dragged down just before the end zone at the five-yard line. 49ers take a timeout, a couple seconds went off the clock, but Ayuk checks into the game, untouched into the end zone and the 49ers are up 20 to 0 scoring 17 points this quarter Tur playing excellent defense and their offense just marching down the field over and over again the 49ers have all the momentum in this game and Brandon Ayuk with his first career rushing touchdown in his first game at running back and the Rams take over at the end of the half. Let's see if they could do anything. Check down to Daryl Henderson. Forced to use the timeout. First down again. Checking it down again. And Goff seems afraid of taking a shot down the field. You got to take a shot down the field towards the sidelines. Second down right after that. Trying to set up the screen pass and D Ford is too quick. Gets to Goff before the screen could be properly set up a third down Goff steps back good pocket dropped by his receiver I still don't know that man's names I think it's rental he got to make some plays and that's gonna bring us into the half the 49ers with all the momentum going towards them after a highly contested more defensive centered defensive centric first quarter the 49ers open the game up in the second quarter with 17 now we're going to look around the NFL as the Chiefs destroy the Bills <laughs> Cole Beasley only had 40 yards that was the Josh Allen's top receiver the Bengals led by Joe Burrow he looks like the real deal everything they could hope for and more as they get to four and one four and one the Bengals can you believe that they're the they're same well at least in the early going same caliber team same record as the Seahawks and the file got corrupted here we actually scored a touchdown pass but we're gonna pick up midway through the third quarter Ayuk on the screen pass Ayuk remains in the game on this third down Wide open George Kittle, and he gets yards after the catch. That's about 18 yards. And the 49ers are primed to score again. Garoppolo pressured on the play, incomplete. You saw it happen. McKinnon gets the handoff, and he powers his way into the end zone. He wasn't even really touched, so not even powered. That offensive line and Kyle Yushik did all the work there. And the 49ers... Which, I mean, after the first quarter, this looked like it was going to be more of a defensive-minded game. But the 49ers, here they are, third, up 34-0. to zero. And we're not even into the fourth quarter yet. Goff on the play action. Armstead brings him down. Flexing on that man. And the, the Rams, just they just can't get anything going. Three receivers to his right. Goff takes the snap. And he's going to be dragged down again, this time by Javon Kinlaw and Nick Bosa, our two young stars on the defensive line. Look at the offense. They're hyped. I mean, they're just having fun. We're in the fourth quarter now. There's pretty much no way they're coming back, barring some type of miracle. And they're going to go for it on fourth down. I mean, you kind of have to. You're down by 34. Goff looking for a receiver downfield, firing it towards the direction of Robert Woods in single coverage. And at the last second, it's broken up by Richard Sherman. 
excellent play. No pass interference, no nothing. He just makes a play on the ball right before Robert Woods could secure the catch. Excellent play. That's why he's that's why we got him those years back, and he's not falling off after his injury at all. Garoppolo delayed give to Jerick McKinnon, breaks the tackle of Aaron Donald. Hard to do. And he's not really known as a power back, but right there. Aaron Donald just can't even secure the tackle, and nothing is going right for this Rams team on either side of the ball. Garoppolo on third down. Perfectly placed ball to George Kittle on the post route. And this team at this point is kind of just rubbing it in. They're marching down the field. Look at George Kittle. He's having a fun time. Having a good time. Jared Goff looking to see if they could at least make the score a little bit more presentable. Virus it to Robert Woods on the quick slant. Get some yards after the catch. He's had a solid game. Goff checking it down to his man Reynolds. And as you can see, they just... Even their completions, even their... Everything is highly contested. Yards are hard to come by. They do get a touchdown pass to Cooper Cup. He gets his 25th touchdown reception. Look at him celebrating. You're down by like... 30 points, man. Hand off off the middle to Brandon Ayuk, and he stays in the game on third down. Gets the first down yardage. This experiment with him at running back, it's been pretty successful. And Nick Mullins checks into the game, and he's sacked on this play by Leonard Floyd. Brandon Ayuk didn't even attempt to block him. And Nick Mullins off the mark for his man Richie James on the slant route. Third down. Third and 16. Mullins. Perfect pass down there to Debo Samuel. And that is actually Debo Samuel's first reception of the game. It goes for 22 yards. Pretty surprising in this blowout that he hasn't done more. Check down to Richie G James. On second down. Gets the first down and... I'm just showing these snaps so you guys can see how some of these backups are performing. Yushchek actually checks into the game at running back, and he's to the 10-yard line. This Rams defense is this is embarrassing, an embarrassing display. I mean, but he's not a fullback though. Ayuk checks back in, looking to get more snaps, and he's gonna walk into the end zone again. It's the third time this game that a running back has pretty much just walked into the end zone nobody aware of what's going on nobody fighting really this Rams defense gave up it checked out in the second quarter honestly Nick Mullins drives down the field and gets them a touchdown now on defense Goff off the hands of Reynolds almost picked off by Jason Verrett they do get down the field, however, but not much is happening for them. Goff pressured by, was that Javon? I think that was Javon Kinlaw. And the, the Niners are only sending three, and they're still getting that much pressure. That's the last play of the game. A final heave gets broken up. This game was over in the second quarter after a pretty close first quarter, a low-scoring first quarter. That was the touchdown pass to Trent Taylor that we didn't get to see because the foul was corrupted. And really, this was just a clinic by the 49ers. A statement game against the division rival. They moved to 6-0. The Rams moved to 3-3. Three and three. three game cushion for the 49ers. And more pass, 70 more passing yards. Like 160 more rushing yards. Like just complete domination here we're gonna look at the stats Jimmy Garoppolo he had a decent game Jerk McKinnon good game Brandon Ayuk pretty solid game two touchdowns 50 yards I don't know why um, I don't end up looking at the receiving yards or the defensive but here after the game we have some upgrades Fred Warner I didn't really know what to upgrade at first but I decided just to go with this field general so he's closing in on 90 overall, and he's been our, be our best defensive player this year. By far, if you would have seen the other games. Maybe not that game. D. Ford also gets an upgrade. He gets his finesse moves up by two. They're in the 90s now. And 
George Kittle joins the 99 club after that. And look look at those upgrades. He gets acceleration, gets his route running up, his blocking up. Everything's going up. Mm. George Kittle's on pace to have his best season as well. 1,000 yards, and he already has four or five touchdown receptions on the season. Which, I mean, what's his most in a season? Like six or seven? Maybe eight? He's on pace to at least get double digit receptions and I didn't upgrade Jalen Hurd because he's injured now we take a look at the draft class um, I'm using I think Bengals draft class he's a youtuber after this um, year however I'm just gonna use the default Madden because once it's like two three years out I think they're kinda inaccurate like you don't know really which college players I'm looking at linebacker middle linebacker because we don't really have much depth behind Fred Warner and the other guys and left tackle I mean Trent Williams is of course on the team now but he's gonna have to hand the reins to someone else eventually in the future corner is probably the I mean early in the season who knows the draft is a long a long time away we'll see who falls to us but corner there's some pretty damn good corners in this draft and that has been a very inconsistent position for us like Israel, Mukwamu, potentially a player we could select, good tackling from the slot position. And after that one catch performance, Devo, Samuel, rightfully so, I mean, even in a win, even in a blowout win, he, he wants the ball more. He's our wide receiver one, and we're going to look to get it to him next game. But you're going to have to wait till next game, because that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry if I'm kind of awkward. I'm going to be better in the future as well. I got to go into the replays sometimes. Got to, you know, make things better. But these games were in the past, and I wasn't really thinking about those. I was just trying to play as many games, record as many games as possible. And I'll just get better at commentating over time. I know I'm not the best now. But, um... My delivery is kind of awkward sometimes, but I just, uh, I don't, I don't know what to say sometimes. Like, I'm not used to, I'm used to just watching the game and having an analysis after. But, I mean, this time, all these plays, I have to call it, it's hard to make it, um, exciting. Especially when I already played these games as well. And I already know what's going to happen. I kind of have to act. Like, act like, um, I don't know what's going to happen. And I'll get, I'll get better at it. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try this time. And hopefully you guys will watch. And if you guys don't, whatever. I guess I'll <laughs> just watch my own videos. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm excited for this next video. I'll probably um, start working on it tomorrow. I wanted to make... I was going to release this video tomorrow. But I was like, why not? I'm not really doing anything. And... Well, this video actually took a while, longer than I expected. Um, once I get a PC, or maybe even, maybe I could use my laptop. Maybe, but um, eventually I'm going to have to move on from this PlayStation Share Factory editing. Because uh, it's, it just makes it unnecessarily complicated because I can only add a certain amount of commentary clips so I gotta I can't really cut up my commentary I gotta do it like pretty much all in one take and then the clips like once I get to a certain point um, I have to like save the video and then I have to work on it again if that makes sense I mean if you use the share factory it probably makes sense to you um, and for future videos, um, if you guys could comment, if you guys would rather, maybe I'll put a poll if I, <laughs> if I figure out how to do that. But would you guys rather have videos that are like more like Sports Center, like one to five minutes, just like highlights like that, just like the big plays in the game? Or do you guys prefer like this like more in depth kind of highlight completion that just shows like more? of the big plays on each drive rather than just like big plays in the game overall like like I'll put the poll out like one to five minutes like five to fifteen or like fifteen plus I don't know what you guys would prefer 
But anyways, thanks for watching. We will grow together. Um, I'm inspired by my favorite Madden YouTuber. You guys should check him out, Mr. Hurricane. He's done a franchise mode for years now, I guess since um, Madden 11. I looked at his old videos. He was awkward just like me, but he's his content's amazing now. Very in-depth, and he's very non knowledgeable of football. He's very entertaining. I, I suggest you guys check him out. He's someone that um, I'm trying to pretty much imitate he's my inspiration go check him out I'll probably leave his channel in the description but anyways thanks for watching if you got through this whole video with my awkward commentary props to you sir <laughs> or ma'am or ma'am don't wanna assume or I mean or anything or not even male or female a anything yeah I'm gonna just Leave now. <laughs> Have a good day.